Hey, what's up, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to another video from Fitman Style. To my returning viewers and subscribers, I appreciate your support to this channel. And to my new viewers and potential subscribers, subscribe below. My name is Ian Riley. I'm the man behind Fitman Style, where I talk about style for the fit guy. I work out, so I understand the struggles that we go through trying to find clothes that fit. In this video, I'm not going to speak to fit men in particular, but to all men. And we're going to talk about the knitted tie. Yes, this is my knitted tie collection. I have quite a few. And I've come to find that knitted ties are one of those menswear accessories that are just polarizing. You either love it or you hate it. For me, of course, I love it. And <laughs> as of this video, about 20 minutes ago, I ordered a new one from the Thai bar. So I may have an addiction to it. So if you're in the market for this unique type of tie, um, I've put together four, four things to keep in mind when, when you're going shopping for a knitted tie. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm not gonna bore you with the history of the knitted tie. I did write an article to go with this video. It's linked down below where I went into more details about it. But let's get into the first point, and that is the fabric used. Stay away from polyester. And that's just a general men's wear rule. Anything that's polyester made, it's, it just, it's cheaply made, it looks cheap, and just stay away from it. So when it comes to, to knitted ties such as this one uh, look for cotton linen um, silk wool pretty much natural fabrics like this one this one is made from cotton and I'm gonna show you a polyester knitted tie that I got it, it, it just it looks horrible um, and it looks cheap so please please if you're in the market for a knitted tie stay away from polyester knitted ties. Stick to your natural fabrics. The second thing to consider when buying a knitted tie is the type of knot that you can do with it. Unfortunately, unlike every other tie out there, with the knitted tie, you are very limited to the type of knot that you can do. So what I have right now is the foreign hand. So that's one style that you can go with. Or you can go with the double foreign hand, also known as the Prince Albert, which is my favorite um, knot, knot style. Any other style beyond those two would just make it look bulky and thick. I mean, it's, it's just, it's, it's already thick. So any, any other knot like the half Windsor, definitely the full Windsor, will just make it look thick and ugly. So uh, foreign hand or the double foreign hand are the two perfect tie knots for a knitted tie. Third thing to consider is the thickness of your shirt collar. Now this shirt that I'm wearing is from the tie bar and I like how the collar can host the thickness of a knitted tie. Uh, I measured the, from the top to the bottom it, in the front was about two inches and in the back was about one inch, which I feel this is a good dimension to host the thickness of a knitted tie. I've had shirts before that had shorter collars and I tried tying the tie and it just looks ridiculous. So keep in mind the thickness of the shirt collar when you wanna wear a knit a tie. Fourth thing to keep in mind is the occasion. Um, traditionally, the knitted tie is known to be more of a casual tie because of the flat end of it. Even though the good folks over at the Dark Knot, they have a knitted tie that has your traditional pointed tip, which I think is pretty cool. And I believe this is 100% silk, so again, stick with your natural fabrics, your silks, your cotton, your linens, your wools, right? Now, as the menswear has evolved over the years, it has become from, it has gone from a casual tie to more of a versatile tie. So yeah, you can wear it with just a shirt and some chinos or slacks, or you can wear it with a suit and everything in between. Wouldn't really wear it with a tuxedo or if you go into a black tie event, keep the knitted ties away from that but from like I said shirt and slacks to a three-piece suit and everything in between go for it all right guys so that does it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps you in your shopping for knitted ties and if you have knitted ties and I missed something in this list please let me know I did write an article to go with this, with this video it's linked down below 
where I went into more details about it. And um, hey, as always, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I would appreciate it if you, if you did so. Like, comment. Listen, I enjoy reading your comments. You know, when, when I do these videos, I don't know who's gonna comment, if anybody does. So when I see a comment or two, I get pretty pretty pumped. So please leave, leave your thoughts, your opinions, your suggestions, and um, I will interact with, with, with you guys. So until next time, stay fly and stay fit.